yes good morning sir very good morning uh, am i audible <coughs> uh, am i audible uh, sir uh, your voice is bit low uh, okay one second yeah is please it, sir is it yes sir Uh, I hope I'm audible now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. it's better. Yes. Sir. Great, great, great. Thanks. <clears throat> can we start with the session, sir? We can absolutely start. Uh, I was told by Bupendu that probably a couple of students are yet to join in, so I was just holding on for a couple of minutes before we oh, can no start. Oh, no problem, sir. That's fine, sir. Yeah, we will wait for two minutes. Yes. Sir. Okay, no problem. Yes. Uh, meanwhile, if you don't mind, can I just have a quick word with the students, like interact with them? If that's yes, okay with sir. you? In fact, yes. In fact, it would be great that if you just make this session more interactive. Yes, sir. Please work. I would love that. Okay, great. Uh, so good morning, folks. A very good morning to all of you. If you can hear me, can you quickly type in a yes in the chat box? Uh, there's a small chat box available on the screen, if I'm not wrong. Zoom webinar chat. If you can hear me. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. Shubankar, Nidhi, Koshal, Anand. Wonderful. Wonderful, great. Okay, so uh, okay. First of all, quickly type in which year are you in? I would really appreciate it. Can you quickly type in? Let me know which year are you in? Okay, second year, second year, BB. Okay, second year, second year. Wonderful, wonderful, amazing. Okay, uh, second question: uh, Which department are you from? Quickly type in which department are you in? BBA. Okay, BBA. Third year BBA, okay, marketing, okay, BBA IB. That's interesting. Okay, okay, wonderful. No problem at all. So if I'm not wrong, uh, most of you are based out of uh, uh, Pune, if I'm not wrong. Can you yes. please? Right? Uh, sir, I would just like to give a brief profile of our college as well, so that Absolutely. you will get an understanding about. Absolutely, uh, please. Sir, we are offering total three courses. One is BBA, that is Bachelor of Business Administration. In that, uh, there are three specialization, HR, Marketing, and Finance. Another course is uh, BBA IB, that is International Business. So in that, they are required to undergo supply chain and logistics procedures as Fair well enough. as international business procedures. And the last one is the BBA computer applications. Uh, wow. Earlier it was known as sir BCA, Bachelor correct, of Computer correct. Applications. Correct, so correct. only because of university's nomenclature, so we had to change it to BBA CA. So Amazing. you actually can guide our students based on the projects, live projects, internships, as well as uh, I could see there are uh, various other topics that which you are going to cover. So that would be really great if you uh, could uh, just uh, guide them as far as placements uh, are concerned, because majority of the students, they are concerned with their internships and placement. And some mm -hmm. TY students also have joined the session. In fact, this session is also for TY. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. as far as the placements are concerned, I would just request you to please guide them in that way. Sure, I will touch base on that as well. Don't worry. I will touch base on that aspect as well, which is very critical. Uh, because I understand that, uh, you know, no matter uh, how people tend to say that, you know, okay, masters is important, but I do understand certain sense of, uh, you know, uh, that skeptical nature is still there in, in students to understand that whether they can go for masters or not. And placements is one of the scenarios, right? So I do understand that. So no worries. I will uh, try to ensure that I cover everything possible in the, you know, stipulated time. So don't worry about it. I'll give it my best, whatever is possible. And I'm, I'm going to ensure that, you know, these guys do have fun uh, while they're sitting here. That's my duty. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, we have approximately 70 years account right now. Uh, yes. 
is it okay if i get started uh, yes sir um, i think we can start with the session uh, before that i would just now like to start the session in a formal way yeah sure uh, yeah. absolutely you can go ahead yeah yeah yes sir uh, so good morning everyone good morning today's speaker uh, mr abhishek gupta sir so we welcome you uh, and on this platform and i would like to thank you for accepting the invitation and becoming a part of this session and guiding our students uh, on this platform on this virtual platform and we would uh, in fact it would be great that if we could uh, uh, arrange such kind of sessions in the future of course in an offline uh, mode as well uh, but yes once again i would like to thank you for accepting the uh, invitation and becoming a part of this uh, series or we can say the lecture series i would just like to request isha to kindly introduce today's guest speaker isha can we have you online yes sir a very good morning to one and all present here i am isha deshmukh and on behalf of placement cell and garware college of commerce i welcome you all and respected abhishek gupta sir uh, i would just brief about abhishek sir Uh, abhishek sir is a career expert and founding member at career labs by juice during his 10 plus years of experience in technology entrepreneurship and business development he has won several company level and national level awards he is also a 99 percentile in competitive exams like gre cat gmat and a gold medalist in various math olympiads uh i must say it's a pleasure having you sir great to have known such a dynamic personality thank you so much and uh, the stage is all yours of course oh okay great uh thank you isha for the wonderful introduction i don't know uh i think we <laughs> have shared it but thank you so much for uh, that introduction and thank you professor for allowing me uh to be a part of this session uh okay. it's a privilege to be you know A part of such kind of sessions. To be honest, I've been in Pune so many times, and I've been, mostly been to most of the colleges in Pune. But uh, I'm lucky enough. I was asking Bhupendra, in fact, you know, uh, why we didn't get a chance to talk to you guys uh, before. So uh, it, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, unfortunately, yes, due to pandemic, I couldn't be uh, in the campus to talk to all of you face to face. But uh, uh, I promise that uh, to whatever best i can do in next 40 to 45 minutes i'll do my best and i'll ensure that you guys do have a good time um by the way uh before i go ahead a uh, very quick check uh, from you know with all the students here today uh which language are you comfortable with is it english hindi or both quickly type in in your chat box so that i can manage accordingly okay someone says both 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 okay don't expect marathi i'm really sorry i don't know marathi much <laughs> I have heard too much. I've been in Mumbai for many times, but uh, don't expect Marathi out of me. I know Bengali if you want. I know Punjabi if you want. I know Italian as well. But I sorry, I cannot speak Marathi. So um, okay, wonderful. Okay, so let's go with both. I think that's wonderful. Okay, chalega, chalega, chalega. Wonderful. Uh, okay, thank you everyone for the you know warm welcome. Uh, you know it's early morning. I know uh, students के लिए होता है कि early morning it's not the right time to talk. but you guys are far far better you know why you guys are not engineers you're far better i know the reality you know how is it, how difficult it is for engineers okay okay so first of all uh, i would like to welcome all of you so i can officially start off right good morning namaskar namaskar assalam alaikum welcome to the session uh i'm your host for today uh, my name is abhishek gupta fortunately or unfortunately an engineer as well but i engineering kyun kari maine i i by the way guys only one request आप कुछ मत करना आप जहां भी हो चिल करो कोई दिक्कत नहीं है द ओनली थिंग आई वांट यू टू डू आई वांट यू गाइस टू बी सुपर एक्टिव इन द चैट बॉक्स कैन यू डू दैट फॉर मी यस और नो क्विकली टाइप इन आंसर्स ऑल आई नीड फ्रॉम यू इज टू बी सुपर एक्टिव इन द चैट बॉक्स दैट्स ऑल आई नीड आई डोंट नीड एनीथिंग एल्स फ्रॉम यू कैन यू डू दैट यस और नो क्विकली टाइप इन आंसर्स वंडरफुल थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू वंडरफुल ग्रेट ग्रेट गुड टू सी द एनर्जी ओनली यू गाइस कैन बी दैट फ्रेश एंड नॉट एनर्जेटिक इन द मॉर्निंग आस्क मी माय कॉलेज इज वो पैथेटिक Okay, you guys are brilliant. Okay, so unfortunately, fortunately, engineer. Okay, and uh, yeah, I became an engineer. You know why? Because my father is a scientist. So engineering can be pretty. But before I got into engineering, let me tell you, I got into merchant navy. Uh, in fact, Pune itself. I also, uh, you know, uh, topped India in PUSA exam. I also got an admission in Hindu College, Delhi University, for maths honors, which is the number one in India. 
So, you know, but confused as most of us are after class 12th, yes. I'm sure you would agree, yes or no? Class 12th, I'm confused, I'm confused, right? So, uh, got into engineering because my father asked me to. Uh, got into electronics and telecom, uh, you know, engineering. Um, beautiful department, not easy. Uh, then a four years super fun, okay? You know why I became a national level gamer. I don't know how many of you guys who are there who play online games. How many of you know about this game called as Counter-Strike? Type in a yes. I don't know. How many of you know about this game? I think it's a cultural fest if I'm not wrong. Right? So uh, just to let you know, uh, I was a national level player. Uh, yeah, 12 to 14 years back, I was a national level player. And I also, uh, you know, big time my hobbies were performing Bangla, uh, playing basketball, representing my college. So, you know, all those four years was super fun for me. Had a wonderful time. Post my engineering, I gave these exams called as GRE, GMAT, CAT. How many of you have heard about it? Type in a yes. I'm sure second year, third year, the kaade kaade naam sunay hoonge aap logo ne. GRE, GMAT, CAT, bahut common naam hai, right? So I gave these exams, landed up with good 99, uh, you know, 99 percentile in all of them. But again, confused. You know why? Main bata do. Ham engineers ke andar na ek kida hota hai. Kya kida hota hai? The moment we finish engineering, right? We want to earn money. We want that independence. Pocket money bahut hua. Ab khud ka paisa kamana hai. We want to work with that, you know, big corporates, the flamboyant lifestyle. Type in a yes if you agree with me. Somewhere, somewhere or the other. In fact, most of the Indian graduates tend to do that. Yes, right? Hamare andar hota hai ki. Then Jesse up in graduation to the mom could say best of right? So I had the same thing. Luckily, got into Accenture as a developer, worked for seven years. Then I was an entrepreneur for two and a half years, and then I worked with the world's largest ed tech company today. You know very well as Baiju's the learning app. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, today, uh, I happen to be one of the founding members of uh, an ed tech college career labs, which is in partnership with Baiju's. So, as you know, Baiju's is for kindergarten class 12, career labs is for college students and working professionals, right? And just to give you a fair idea, uh, what is Curry Labs? One of the premium edtechs right now dealing with the top industry and knowledge partners. But thank you. I'm sure you have to know Microsoft or Baiju's or Adobe. I'm sure you have to know that, right? But this is all information pointless if it's not exciting in 10 minutes, right? It's not exciting in 10 minutes. So let me get started. Uh, since majority of you are from second year and third year, which year will you be passing out? Quickly type in the answers, guys. Which year will you pass out? You know, approximately 2020. Okay, two, 21, some of you are passing on this, yeah? Some of you 22, majority 22, right? Okay. Now, I have a very curious question, okay? Uh, what are your plans after graduation? You want to, you know, go for a business, start up, karna hai, job, or master's? Karna hai. Quickly type in your answers, guys. And honest answers, koi dikati. Okay, master's, master's, very nice. Okay, master's again, okay? Wow, I see a lot of you are planning for master's as well. Okay, a few of you for job as well. Okay. Got it, got it. You guys are very shy, you don't answer, I feel like they are going to Well, all the best after graduation, I cannot help you with that. I have no experience in that area. Nevertheless, I'll help you with option number two and three. Okay, don't worry. Okay, let me ask you an honest question here. Okay, let me ask you an honest question here. Uh, can you tell me how many graduates will pass out along with all of you in 2021 or 22? Any numbers? I'm not talking about Pune, your college, or Maharashtra for that matter. I'm talking about entire India. Any guesses? Any guesses? Quickly type in your answers, guys. Kuch bhi guess chalega. Koi dikkat nahi. Galat bhi hoga chalega. Maybe 10 to 15 lakhs, okay? Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Let me tell you. Dekho, of course, thousands are possible nahi hai. Uh, 40 to 45 lakh graduates. Now I have a tricky question for all of you. Do you think we have high paying jobs for all of them? Type in a yes or a no. What do you think? No, right? Common question? Common question, right? I'll tell you something very, very interesting. Okay, I'll tell you something very, very interesting. Uh, how many of you are aware of the, you know, the finance sector? Type in a yes. I mean, now to sunay right? Finance mein jobs hoti hai, sari good, right? Finance mein jobs hoti hai. Okay. I'll tell you something. You know, what is the approximate uh, number of jobs available today in the in finance field? I'm not talking about the tech side today. I'm going to talk about the non-tech side. Finance field, mein, kiti jobs hai? close to 0.8 million. I'm not joking, guys, okay? If I e-commerce industry, ki baat karu, I'm sure you will e-commerce industry, ka pata hoga, right? Which is the best company in e-commerce today? Quickly type in your answers. All of you know the name, but still I would love to know. Quickly type in and tell me, which is the biggest company? Amazon. Absolutely correct. Everyone knows about it, right? Okay. You know, what are the number, number of jobs opening in e-commerce? The most dominant industry today? 0 0.08 million. Boss, jobs are available. Hai. Interestingly, high-paying jobs are available. Hai, right? I'll give you a technical example, in fact. 
यू नो ऑल्टरनेट वाला एक बात बताओ आप में से कितने लोगों ने इस कंपनी का नाम सुना है इंटेल टाइप इन यस I'm not talking about non-tech side. I'm talking about tech side here. Intel नाम सुना है लैपटॉप खोलते एक स्टिकर देखता हो देखा होगा आपने कभी राइट इंटेल का वेरी फेमस कंपनी करेक्ट नाउ आई कम फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिपार्टमेंट राइट आई जस्ट टोल्ड यू मैं आपको अपनी स्टोरी बताता हूँ इन फैक्ट यू नो दे हायर सम हार्डवेयर डिजाइन इंजीनियर विद स्टार्टिंग सैलरी ऑफ सेवेंटीन लैक्स पर एन नाउ द इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट इज इवन नॉन टेक्स साइड लाइक फाइनेंस और ई कॉमर्स कैन स्टार्ट विद एन एवरेज ऑफ एट इलेवन लैक्स पर एन एम नाउ जॉब्स आर देर हाई पेइंग जॉब्स आर Also there. My question is, do you think you will get these jobs? Type quickly. Type in your answers. Yes or no. What do you think? Honest answers. Don't hesitate. It's absolutely fine. No one is going judging you here. We are we are together here to help each other. So, do you think you guys will get these kind of jobs? Yes or no? Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. So I tell you. The okay. Wow. There's a calculation involved as well. Okay. so i believe most of you believe yes it's possible some of you might be thinking yes some of you think it might be maybe some of you think it might be no no problem at all okay uh let me uh, let me ask you something okay which all companies come to your campus for placements any idea give me names and come very uh, you know some companies that come to your campus quickly type it down any companies that come to your campus that's absolutely fine can any one of you tell me i'm sure third year students uh, should be able to tell me because you know they have an idea about placements here so they should be able to tell me no idea okay okay so for example company abc comes to a campus okay what is the average starting salary offer what i'm guessing is should be around 3 to 6 lakhs per annum right now the interesting part is when the same set of companies what you have in your campus maybe anywhere in india for that matter any graduate college in india okay What happens is when the same companies go to ISB Hyderabad, they tend to offer more than twenty lakhs per annum. I'm not joking, guys. The same companies, okay, they tend to offer close to uh, you know twenty to twenty-five lakhs per annum. Interesting, right? We guys do three years of graduation, four years of graduation, like you and me. We land up by like three to six lakhs per annum. But these companies give you know more than twenty lakhs per annum from ISB number one B school in India. Interestingly, they also give very interesting roles to special graduates. Okay, who have something called as the X factor. They give something close to seven to eight lakhs per annum as well, or ten lakhs per annum. So the tricky part is why does this happen? It's a very interesting concept. Something called as supply demand. What happens is when the supply is huge, demand is low, prices go down. When the supply is less, demand is huge, prices go up. I'm sure you have heard the concept. Yes or no? Quickly type in the answers. I'm sure ये तो सुना होगा आप लोगों ने कहीं ना कहीं तो सुना ही होगा ये concept, right? In fact, how many of you have gone to the market with your mother in last one year before lockdown or after lockdown? Type in a yes. I'm sure आप लोग मामा के साथ market गए हो, right? You would have, you know, probably bought, I don't know, Maharashtra में क्या थे कांदा, right? You would have bought कांदा, you would have bought tomatoes, right? It was costing around hundred, hundred twenty rupees a kg as well. Why? Supply demand here. Yeah. The supply of graduates in India is pretty high, and the demand is low. That's why starting salaries land up around three to six lakhs per annum. But the supply of graduates in India with masters or X factor is very less, and the demand is very high. That's why you would have seen people getting salaries like eight lakh, ten lakh, twelve lakh, twenty lakhs, thirty lakhs, forty lakhs per annum. So now, yes or no? I'm sure. आपने कहीं ना कहीं कोई ना कोई आपके नेबर में आपके सर्कल में कोई जाने वाले वो वाले भैया का वहाँ प्लेसमेंट होता है. Remember? Remember that story? I'm sure that will come back to you, right? So these are very common stories that happen. See, understand something. What happens is generally more than eighty to ninety percent graduates in India do not have that. you know uh, probably the x factor that what is needed to get into a very high paying job that's the biggest challenge because the one who do have 5 to 10% or 15% they land up with the best companies like deloitte ernst and young talk about kpmg uh probably talk about bcg bain and co have you heard about these companies type in a yes or no have you heard about these companies i'm sure aap logon ne naam to suna hoga in companies ka right these are one of the best companies in the world for especially graduates bba graduates right even even for that matter google or facebook is also always there they also have uh, you know non tech operations which you can land up in so if you see if you see overall i want to talk to you about two things one of them i'm done with see understand uh, i'll tell you a very interesting thing once uh, you know a lot of students you know 70 to 80% of graduates in india when they get into a regular job you know what happens once they get into a job they work for one year you know tirelessly working so hard after one year they expect a salary hike from the company fair enough now according to mr narayan modi generally it lands up about between 6 to 8% for indian graduates okay consider average uh, maybe 7% but india has an inflation rate of what 5 to 6% for most of the commodities every year so the net salary hike is 7 minus 6 1% imagine after one year of hard work we decide to go for a trip buy a new phone go 
go and buy a bike like i want to go and shop everything goes for a toss because net salary hike is how much 1% but people with x factor masters their average salary hike is close to close to can you guess 20 to 35% every year see i wanted to talk about two things one of them i'm done with see i am understand one thing i'm not saying that you do not sit for your placements it's scary but do sit for your placements they are very very essential but at the same time also consider higher education is one of your top priorities because it's very critical in today's world as well it's very critical i'll tell you a story okay uh it was you know a couple of months back i can i don't want to name the person uh, one of my friends old friends you know uh, he called me up and he was crying on the phone i said what happened brother he said you know what he's by the way he started his journey with ansin young uh he is passed from bangalore and uh doing wonderfully well uh, you know initially he got married has a kid bought a nice house bought a car you know everything on loan everything working fine when i asked him why he's crying he said you know what uh the company is not allowing him to work for that i said what happened he said you know what the specialized master is not there with me so they asked me to go for masters as well i said uh why do you want to go for masters now he said you know it's very critical because these companies are not ready to take me i said okay that's surprising and you know what what imagine the situation of that guy who has tons of you know he's he has a kid he has a wife he has loan you know home loan probably car loan and is it easy for someone to drop a year work get admission study and then come back and do that is it easy type in a yes or a no do you think it's easy it's not easy imagine the state of mind of that person just because he couldn't specialize even i'll tell you one more interesting story most of the placements that happen for the client tracing roles need people who have done their masters typically i'm telling you honestly why because most of even mckenzie have that pattern when they pick up they do not give you a front end role unless until you have done it you have done the masters because they put you in incubation center give you a chance to learn and do your masters if you do not do it they will throw you out that's typically mckenzie now the point is very very simple masters are really really essential for all of you right i'm not saying placements again please do not take it the other way that you do not have to sit for placements do ensure that you all of you sit for placements because i told you the job scenario it is available all the top notch companies in e-commerce finance and other domains operations domain logistics domains are available for you guys as well the well, only thing is you need to work on x factor for that now uh if i talk about the job scenario right right uh i'll tell you something very 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 interesting lot of bachelors lot of graduates in india think that you know when it comes to uh, placements there are no high paying jobs available or no good jobs available i'll give you an example here okay i'll give you a very standard example uh, i'm sure all of you know byju's hiring business development associates have you heard about it yes or no i'm sure you've heard about it if not go and search for it uh, so byju has a lot lot of graduates in terms of business development associates you know what is the starting salary close to 10 lakhs per annum carefully okay listen to me carefully how many of you have heard about the company called as goldman sachs type in a yes how many of you have heard about this company called as goldman sachs it's one of the <clears throat> most amazing companies in the entire world you know they have a role called as financial analyst role in fact uh, i'll tell you one more one more role uh, there's something called as lnd department in jp morgan how many of you have heard about it jp morgan and chase JP Morgan and Chase is one of the most beautiful companies. Mahavi, the name was uh, Goldman Sachs. You can go and search, right? Now the interesting part is even a startup like Freshworks in India is ready to hire you for sales roles as well. Now what I'm trying to tell you is that there are you know companies which are ready to hire you. Now average salary of seven to eleven lakhs per annum, and all these salaries lie in within this range only. In fact, you might not believe me. Uh, I'll give you another example. Uh, how many of you have heard about digital marketing? Type in a yes. आप लोग सब के सब इंस्टाग्राम यूज करते हो डे एंड नाइट आई थिंक प्रोफेसर सर कैन वाउच फॉर इट एम आई राइट सर दीज गाइज गेल गो फॉर इंस्टाग्राम डे एंड नाइट राइट देल कीप स्क्रॉलिंग डे एंड नाइट एंड यू सी लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक एंड यू सी लॉट्स ऑफ एडवर्टीजमेंट्स राइट करेक्ट ना द बेस्ट पार्ट इज आपने एक चीज नोटिस करी होगी एक घंटा पहले आपने गूगल पे सर्च किया शूज को लेकर इमीडिएटली यू विल सी अ लॉट ऑफ एड्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम फॉर शूज ये सो नो क्यू टाइप इन आंसर यूर सर्चिंग फॉर वॉचेज यू सी द सेम एड राइट हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल something very powerful called as digital marketing right they have the digital footprints where they are able to figure it out how does it happen now the interesting part is more than 30 to 40 companies across india they go to campuses right to hire p graduates like you for digital marketing roles very powerful role but the challenge is they don't most of the students do not have the skills that's why they are not able to hire otherwise they'll be happy to hire you at 6 to 8 lakhs per annum as well 
I'm sure you have heard these terms. How many of you are interested in digital marketing? Type in a yes. Type in a yes. I'm sure you have heard these terms. Type in a yes. SEO, right? Search engine optimization, right? Email marketing, content marketing, right? Campaigns, yeah. Very interesting field today. In fact, a more interesting field. Tell me. आप लोगों को इट्स अ वेरी क्रिएटिव डोमेन कॉल एज समथिंग कॉल एज कॉन्टेंट राइटिंग हाउ मेनी यू हर्ड अबाउट इट हाउ मेनी यू लव टू राइट टाइप इन ए यस आई एम श्योर आप ऐसे कुछ लोग होंगे जिनको लिखना बहुत पसंद होगा टेक्निकल नॉन टेक्निकल कॉन्टेंट यू प्रॉब्लम एज इन वेन आई से टेक्निकल मोर ऑन यू नो द डिजिटल स्पेक्ट्रम या करेक्ट राइट सबको लिखना पसंद है यू नो वॉट यू कैन एक्चुअली गो फॉर अ जॉब इन कैब जिमिन एज अ कॉन्टेंट राइटर एंड यू नो वट इज द स्टार्टिंग सैलरी सेवन लैक्स पर आने I'm not joking, guys. I'm telling you the versatile fields that are existing out there. If you want to get in, the point being that all these jobs, you know, in management or techno management role, if you want, or creative domain, are available for all of you. But the only challenge is the acceptance rate is less for all of these. So what you need to do is you need to work on something called as X factor for it. What is X factor? I'll jump to it. But before that, I want to also quickly discuss about masters because I think 80% of you wrote down masters when I was asking you what do you want to do. Now, if I want to go for masters as well, I want to touch base upon something very important. Uh, there are two options. One is India, second one is abroad, right? Uh, can you tell me which exam do I write for uh, management masters in India? Can you quickly type in and tell me? I'm sure you all know the name, but I thought you can quickly type in. No, no, hand wash, not doing anything. Just write it. Tell me. Cat, absolutely correct. Okay, if I have a top category government job, then which exam will I write? Quickly type in. Top cadre government jobs, and I'm sure some of you are preparing as well for it. Correct, Akansha is absolutely right. It's a UPSC exam, right? And कुछ लोग होते हैं bank PU exam के लिए भी apply करते हैं. I know a lot of students who do that as well. Absolutely fine, no problem. Uh, if I want to go abroad for masters, which uh, which exam do I write? Quickly type in your answers, guys. Correct, Akansha is right again. Okay, Rocha is also right. Correct, is GMAT correct? इट्स एक्चुअली जी आर एन जी मैट बहुत लोगों को लगता है कि बाय द वे एक मेथड बता देता हूँ so, बहुत लोगों को लगता है कि जी आर ई खाली टेक्निकल एग्जाम्स के लिए होता है टेक्निकल मास्टर्स के लिए होता है यूर रॉन्ग जी आर ई ओपन टू मैनेजमेंट मास्टर्स इज वेल ठीक है जो जी मैट करता है वो जी आर ई भी करता है ओके ओके बिफोर अगे गो हेड क्विकली टाइप इन वन इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आइर वन ऑफ दीज कैट यूपीएससी बैक यू टाइप इन ए गेस क्विकली टाइप इन वन डू नॉट नेम द एग्जाम जस्ट टाइप इन वन जस्ट टाइप इन वन इन द चार्ट बॉक्स इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग ओके Good. I see one, one, one. Okay, great. Amazing, amazing. Good to see that you guys are preparing for it. Wonderful. Okay, chalega. ठीक है. Now I'll tell you, <coughs> and I'm going to tell you some stats story. They got demotivated. नहीं होना है. ध्यान से सुनना है. ठीक है. Understand the intent of why I'm telling you that. Okay. Uh, if I talk about CAD, more there are more than two, two, two to two point five lab applicants. Everyone wants to go to IIMs, ABC. Type in a yes if you agree with me. सच बात है सबको आई एम जेबीसी में जाना है करेक्ट राइट नंबर ऑफ सीट टू थाउजेंड टू थ्री थाउजेंड प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ सिलेक्शन लेस देन वन परसेंट प्रैक्टिकलिटी ओके अगर मैं यूपीएससी की बात करूं आठ से दस लाख कैंडिडेट्स कैंडिडेट्स हैं ऑफ कोर्स दे वांट टू गेट सिलेक्टेड हजार से पंद्रह सौ लोग होते हैं प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ सिलेक्शन ड्रॉप डाउन टू पॉइंट परसेंट एंड माशाला बैंक पी की तो बात ही नहीं करेंगे द नंबर आर आउटरेजियस राइट सो वी वॉन्ट इवन टॉक अबाउट इट now what is the challenge in spite of having such well sustained good examinations across india what is the challenge the challenge is the competition is very high and the number of seats are very less that means even before you apply for these exams enter the examination hall or answer the question paper 99.9% b guys are guaranteed to fail in these exams not because of the potential mind it you all of you have got the potential it's just because of the challenge the competition is so high आप खुद सोचो आपके सेक्शन में 50 बच्चे हैं ठीक है फॉर एग्जांपल 50 बच्चे ऑल ऑफ देम सेट फॉर कैट एग्जाम फोर ऑफ देम लैंड अप विद 99.9 परसेंटाइल डू यू थिंक इट्स फीजिबल फॉर ऑल फोर टू गेट इनटू आई एम जे बी सी टाइप इन अ यस और अ नो व्हाट डू यू थिंक प्रैक्टिकली इन इंडिया व्हाट डू यू थिंक डू यू थिंक ऑल फोर विल गेट इनटू आई एम जे बी सी इन स्पाइट ऑफ 99.9 यू वुड हैव रीड रिसेंटली कैट रिजल्ट्स वर आउट इन जनवरी लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल पोस्टेड देयर ओन स्टोरीज वेयर इवन आफ्टर गेटिंग 99 दे कुडंट क्रैक आई एम ए बी सी एग्जैक्टली Why? Maybe two out of four got it. Why? Because of the competition in India. That's the biggest challenge, right? And what they get on top of that, lot of Indian students still prefer to do in master, still prefer to do masters in India. I will tell you why. I will give you common reasons. I will tell you. First reason, very common, is that sir, I want to stay close to my parents. Yes or no? I don't want to go away from my parents. I want to stay close to them. So that's the reason I want to do masters in India. Am I right? Yes or no? Just type in a yes or a no if you agree with me. 
one of the very common reasons that I want to stay close to my parents. Okay. Second, sir, India me sasta padta hai. Type in a yes or no. India me sasta padta hai. Ki sir, bahar jaake paisa bahut kar sota hai. To isse better yeh ki India me kar lete. Itna paisa kahan kar sakega? They see the common, most common yeses I'm getting now. Correct. Maximum yeses right now. I'll tell you something. How many of you have heard about uh, Harvard, Stanford, Michigan? Type in a yes. Kitne logon ne naam sunaye? Most of you. Most of you have heard about this, right? Okay. Uh, you know you need to write GRE or GMAT to get in. The irony is to apply to these top schools in the world. 80th percentile achha hai GRE GMAT mein. But India ke top schools mein agar jana hai, IIMs mein ya kahin bhi, to kitna percentile score chahiye? Quickly type in and tell me. How much do you think we need? Exactly 99.9. That is the reason a lot of students in India they come up to me and ask this question very often. कि कोई तो ऐसा ऑप्शन होगा जहां पे कंपटीशन कम है और नंबर ऑफ सीट्स ज्यादा है। I tell them the answer is yes. In fact, in next five minutes I'm about to give you those options. Those options are exclusively for freshers where the competition is less and number of seats are more. Do you want such options? Quickly type in a yes or a no. अगर आप हाँ बोलोगे तो मैं डिस्कस करूँगा अगर आप ना बोलोगे तो मैं I'll skip that part. Quickly type in a yes or a no. Okay. Okay. Everyone wants to know. I hope you guys have a pen and a paper. I'll just give you the name of the programs. You can go and Google them later. कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ठीक है. Just write down the name uh, somewhere. Okay, and you can Google them later. I'm gonna go pretty fast, so ensure that you do write it. Okay. Okay. One of my favorites. Uh, you know what? Something called as Indian School of Business in India has something called as the YLP program, Young Leadership Program. लिख लो कहीं पे ISB YLP. One of my favorite programs. You know why? One of my favorite programs. You know why? It's a DEFET MBA program. What is DEFET MBA? You apply in your pre-final or final year. If they like you, they will give you the admission. But you will start two years after completing your graduation. So, if you are 2022 pass out, then you will start in 2024. Now, you will ask me, sir, sir, two years? What do you do? Simple, get a job, work, earn money, no problem. Election ke liye khade ho jao. No problem. Two years later, you can start with your MBA program. The good thing is, it's a just one year master's program, and the average starting salary is above 20 lakhs per annum. Can you believe it? The average starting salary is almost five times of what you're going to get normally. That's why it's one of the most beautiful programs in entire India. It is called as Deferred MBA because you get a chance to you know wait for two years, but you get an admission right now. So you apply now, you reserve your seat right now while doing your graduation, but you start your masters two years later. Uh, that's why ISB YLP is one of the most amazing programs in the country, right? Second, uh, not Deferred MBA, but India has some other options that you can try. One is Global Masters uh, program from SPJ. One is Great Lakes, my PGDM, of course. But one of my favorites is IMB, uh, International Masters in Business. It is offered by a school called as SDA Balkany. I don't know how many of you know it. SDA Balkany is one of the top B schools in Italy. They have their Asia Center in Mumbai itself, okay, in Pawai. So you can try for that as well. It's one of the good, good, good programs that you can do in India. But both our students are thinking, sir, I don't want to do India. I want to go abroad. Yes, I'm sure you have aspirations. And I want, if you want to go for a program like Deferred MBA. Outside India, I'll give you the world's number one program. Uh, can anyone tell me which is the number one B school in the world? आप में से कोई बता सकता है? Any one of you? Can anyone quickly type down and tell me which is the number one B school in the world today? I'm sorry, Ujwal, that's not the answer. Well, Manthan, you know what? You got the answer of INSEAD very uh, recently, yeah? Uh, Nimit is right. Nimit is absolutely correct. The answer is Harvard Business School. Now. You know why? Why am I telling you this, Manthan? Because what you read recently, INSEAD was number one, but you know what? Howard, Stanford, and Wharton did not participate in that survey in FT rankings. So that's the reason. I know that Howard is one of the top schools. Now you can note it down. Howard and Stanford is a program called as two plus two. Please write it down. It's a Deferred MBA program. It's a wonderful program. Works the same way as YLP. Apply in your final year. If they like you, they will give you the admission. You will start two years after completing your graduation. But you know what is interesting about these two? The average starting salary after two plus two is somewhere between one lakh twenty thousand to one lakh forty thousand US dollars. I'm not joking, guys. In fact, Chicago Booth, Yale, Druggers, these are one of the top ones. Chicago Booth is right now number two according to the FT rankings. But the truth is, you know, these are also one of the best programs that you can look at. So, Deferred MBA for all those people, you know, apply now, reserve your seat right now while doing your graduation, BBA करते हुए, and then go for masters two years later. Interesting, right? 
कुछ बच्चे होते हैं कहते हैं सर सर वी डू नॉट वांट टू वेट फॉर टू इयर्स वी डू नॉट वांट टू वेट दैट यू नो दैट गैप वी वांट टू इमीडिएटली गो फॉर मास्टर्स यस और नो क्विकली टाइप इन यस और नो इफ यू एग्री विद मी आई नो दैट फीलिंग इज देयर राइट कि इमीडिएटली बेबी बीबीए खत्म करते ही मास्टर्स करने जाना है राइट आई गिव यू वन ऑफ द बेस्ट प्रोग्राम्स इन द वर्ल्ड प्लीज राइट इट डाउन एमआईएम मास्टर्स इन मैनेजमेंट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट क्लासिकल प्रोग्राम्स ऑफर्ड बाय यूनिवर्सिटीज लाइक एनयूएस एनटीयू एसएमयू इन सिंगापुर आपको लग रहा होगा क्या है ये लेट मी टेल यू your seniors who have passed out and work for 2 years they cannot apply for this program but you guys can competition negligible right second the fees is very less compared to normal mba india may you spend 24 to 28 lakhs in an iim approximately and more than 30 lakhs in isb you can finish mim in 8 to 9 lakhs and by the way the average starting salary after mim is mim is between 40000 to 70000 us dollars if you do an indian currency ka calculation Almost 29 to 30 lakhs per annum. Say upper ki salary. I'm not joking, guys. In fact, if you want to ask about the top schools in the world, uh, you know, you can in US you have Duke and Kellogg, and Europe you can talk about IIS Spain. You have London Business School as well. Yeah, right. If you talk about Asia, you have Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Then you have NUS and NTU SMU. Right. These are the places you can go for MIM program. And by the way, you know what? You guys have an advantage over engineers. Why? because these guys do not entertain engineer engineers at all they entertain people with your background bba background that's management background bad you know management graduates that's why you guys have a higher chances and by the way please write it down the number one university in the world or the number one mi program in the world is offered by a university called as st gallens in switzerland please write it down again st gallens in switzerland you can go and research on it one of the most amazing programs that you can look at so defat mba and mim are unlike typical mba jahan pe aap itna struggle karoge in terms of cat giving an exam you know competing with the entire engineers and you know cat is so cat mein cont is so difficult type in a yes if you agree with me ek to competition itna zyada engineers ke sath fight karo 70 to 80% engineers already there in exam upar se di is difficult and cont is one of the most difficult so you know and competition itna bad jata hai so keeping that aside defat mba and mim is one of the most amazing options that you can try i know there's couple of students who do get confused about this as well that you know uh, which master should i go for there's a, there are some very specialized masters called as techno management programs now i know there are fields like finance accounting information science which you see right international business like a party do just professor your professor just mentioned that you're studying international business as well logistic supply chain is also happening right now but out of all of these there is one of my which is favorite can you guess the name out of all of these do you, which one do you think i like the most or which one do you think is very very important according to me all of them are important i'm not saying that but one of them is very exciting very very exciting in today's world mm i'll tell you can you see this very good amit it's called as data and business analytics In fact, how many of you have heard this term very recently? In last five to ten years, you would have read a lot about analytics. आपने मतलब पिछले दो साल में पढ़ा होगा शायद. I've been reading it, you know, reading about it, understanding about it in last ten years. Analytics is today's world's DNA, every company's DNA, or industry's growth DNA. This is how you decide how consumer behaves, how the data flows. In fact, data is a new currency. That's what we say, right? one of the most most essential points today so if you are someone who is more into you know the technical aspect you want to do some analysis about statistics numbers you want to under- understand more about data data and business analytics is one of the most powerful and specialized fields today so even techno management programs are specialized masters which are very much in place and they are very much in demand if you want to go for something different than typical management masters right and by the way By the way, if you do your masters from STEM field in US, science, technology, engineering, or mathematics, in which any fields where we have master masters, can you go to US? Me, you can stay back in US for three years after completing your masters without a working visa. This period is called as. Please write it down somewhere. This period is called as OPT. In fact, I'll see if I can ping you in the chat. One second. I'm not sure if I'm able to type it, but the name is called as OPT. There you go. ऑप्शनल प्रैक्टिकल ट्रेनिंग पीरियड फॉर थ्री इयर्स आप पैसे कमा सकते हो रिसर्च कर सकते हो अपने एजुकेशन लोन्स खत्म कर सकते हो एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन कम बैक और स्टे देर टेल मी ऑनेस्टली हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू एंड सॉरी माई थ्रोट इज अल बैड प्लीज ऑन माइंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू थिंक ओके योर नेबर्स योर सीनियर्स योर फ्रेंड्स योर रेलेटिव जो लोग मास्टर्स करने गए हैं पिछले पांच साल में अब्रॉड यूएस वो लोग वापस आए क्या 
Quickly type in a yes or a no. Nahi hai wapas. Kyu? Because of OPT option. Right? And by the way, by the way, by mistake, if you have any PhD, you know, PhD karta hai. in terms of these fields, for example, accounting, very rare, right? You know, what is the average salary of a professor? It's between 1.5 to 2 lakh USD. I'm not joking. Look at that. So if you see overall, there are beautiful management and techno management programs available for all of you. You can even go for OPT option in US and you can go for PhD as well, right? Now, you, a lot of students think he's with, you know, challenging. Let me tell you the advantage. More than 60% of the people applying for these programs are freshers. So these programs are meant for you guys. Second, I got cheese with Normal MS or MBA ke liye jo log jaate hai India se students, but the acceptance rate kya hai bahar ki universities mein one to two percent. Matlab one out of hundred or two out of hundred students are Indians. But for these programs, it is eleven to fifty percent. Interesting, na? And the best thing is you don't have to write thousands of exams to get in. You just need to write one exam, either GRE or GMAT. In fact, quickly type in and tell me how many of you are preparing for GRE or GMAT. Quickly type in a one. I'm sure GRE koi kar nahi raha but still GMAT to kar hi sakta hai. Quickly type in a one. How many of you are preparing for it? Quickly type in. Very good. Very good. Okay. 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 I get through. I got three responses until uh, you know, until now. Okay. Okay. Very good. Good to see. Now see why the number is so less. Four people have responded in a class of more than 150. They are telling me that four people are preparing for GMAT. I'll tell you why. Common reason kya hai? Sir, naam suna hai, but I'm not very sure about it. Type in a yes if you agree with me. Sir, I've heard the name from my seniors or my friends, but I'm not very sure about GMAT. Yes or no? Naam suna hai, sir, but I'm not sure. Kabhi dekha nahi dhyan se. Correct? Or the second probable reason is, sir, bahar baut paisa lagta hai, isle mein jaan hi raha. Yeh jaan hi rahi hai. Yeah? Correct. Now, let me go break down some myths today. Compared to CAD, you can write G GMAT or GRE whenever you want. Matla flexibility hai. Saal mein paanch baar sakte ho. Agar, you know, ek exam karama to hai, hota hai, to ek saal tak wait nahi karna hai. Exactly 16 days later, you can write the G GMAT exam and 21 days later, GRE. Five, five years six score valid hai, matlab, you don't have to write it again and again. 10 standard math and English. Isse easy kya hoga hai? In fact, the math is so simple. Average score for an Indian guy in GRE is 156 out of 170. While for a US guy, it's 145 because we Indians are good with mathematics. And the best thing is, GRE and GMAT work like order function. Matlab, even if you guys have an average CGPA in your graduation, still you can land up in the top programs which I have told you about it, provided you have a good GMAT score because the exam is very simple. So if you look at that, GRE is so much flexible. GRE and GMAT are so flexible. And they give you, they, they make sure that you do not waste time. They'll give you enough flexibility to don't write it again and again. And the exam is super easy and opens your doors to one of the best schools and programs in the world, not just India, right? Where the challenge is that if I tell you, today you have a session to motivate. You are at home. You are sitting at home. You have gone to your father's room. Papa, I have to give you 50 lakhs. I have to go to master's. What will be his first reaction? Quickly type in your answers. What do you think will be his first reaction? He said, I have to give you 50 lakhs. I have to go to What do you think he will tell you? Look, first there will be a chappal. Very fast. There will be a chappal. Very fast. After that, there will be a good photo next day. ठीक है आपके टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया के फ्रंट पेज पे आएगी क्या बोलेंगे कि दिस गाय इज रेडी फॉर अडॉप्शन ही और शी इज नॉट माय चाइल्ड इटसेल्फ ऐसा ही बोलेंगे राइट आई नो द मनी इज अ बिग चैलेंज लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्कैंडिनेवियन कंट्रीज डेनमार्क फिनलैंड स्वीडन नॉर्वे द ट्यूशन फी टू डू योर मास्टर्स इज जीरो आई एम नॉट जोकिंग इनफैक्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द पब्लिक यूनिवर्सिटीज इन जर्मनी डू नॉट चार्ज एनी ट्यूशन फी द ओनली कैचेस यू नीड टू लर्न द जर्मन लैंग्वेज इवन ए टू बी वन बी टू लेवल which you can earn while doing your internship there. So you end up doing masters cheaper than in India. So do not think the masters are always expensive. They are not. one of the top schools, you know, like probably LBS or HEC Paris or I want to go to Harvard or Stanford anywhere. Right. Yes, it's expensive. But you know, you guys get worried about the fact that you will put a lot of financial burden on your parents. Yes or no? Yes or no? Quickly type in a yes or no. The common tendency is to believe that, you know, I'll put a lot of financial burden on my parents. I do not want to do that. What if I give you an option where your parents are not involved? Would you like that? Right? Uh, correct. Note down, please. Incred Prodigy Empower. These are organizations we work very closely with. These are organizations who give you loan based on your GRE score. Merit-based loan. Eh? You can pay back in 10 years after completing your master's. But the best thing is they are collateral tree. Matlab, 
your parents are not involved ek baat dhyan rakhna like guys like me if you want the best in life money is not the challenge getting the admission is the challenge money is never the challenge acha ek baat batao ek baat batao how many of you know mr sundar pichai type in a yes how many of you know mr sundar pichai quickly type in a yes sabne naam suna hai right uh, can anyone tell me where did he uh, do his mba from abhi google mat karna baith ke can anyone tell stanford me? stanford Stanford. Okay. So, what did he do from Sloan then? What did he do from MIT Sloan if he did his MBA from Stanford? Hmm. Confused, huh? He did his masters, two masters, right? One MBA, one masters in electrical engineering, if I'm not wrong. Maybe. Read it again, okay? Now, do you think 20 to 25 years ago when he went abroad, do you think it was easy for him? Quickly type in your answers. Do you think it was easy for him 20 25 years back when his father had to spend one year salary for, on, on his one one way flight ticket do you think it was easy no there were no resources today you guys are in a generation that you have resources most majority of indian students who go abroad for either mba ms or any other program which i have given you they have resources the only challenge is you have to be super serious on it you need to ensure that you are super serious to actually go ahead you cannot you won't trouble your parents but you have to be serious my own friend okay my classmate uh did his engineering in india then he applied for mba got into harvard no kidding so the fees is close to 1.5 crores he was scared but he went today he's working in google as a product manager i won't talk about his salary so the point is very simple money is not the challenge what is the biggest challenge with indian students when it comes to gre or gmat dekho indians good hai mathematics pe tell me what is the biggest challenge quickly type in your answers and tell me मैथ्स में तो अच्छे ही हम लोग वॉट इज वॉट बिकम्स बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इन दीज एग्जाम जी आर जी मैट वेरी गुड फॉल एब्सोलूटली करेक्ट इंग्लिश द मोमेंट आई से इंग्लिश इन इंडिया इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स हैव अ हार्ट अटैक देन दे प्रे टू गॉड एंड यूज दिस ब्यूटीफुल टेक्निक टू आंसर द मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन कौन सी टेक्निक क्विकली टाइप इन टेलमी कौन सी टेक्निक यूज करते हैं आया ना जय माता दी एवरी वन इट तुक्का जय माता दी एलिमिनेशन डाइस रोलिंग इंकी पिंकी पोंकी My question is very simple. Do you think you will get into KPMG or Deloitte with Jai Mata Di, or do you think you will get into Harvard or London Business School with Inky Pinky Pocky? It's not possible, right? Okay, last five minutes. Let's have some super super fun. How many of you are excited to have some super fun in next two three minutes? Could you type in a yes? Gyan to bahut ho raha hai, right? I want to have some fun. Yeah. What I want you to do is, I want you guys to quickly uh, go to your browser, type in this link one dot two dot view forward slash rc and download a PDF quickly. Quickly download, okay. I ping you, ping you the link one dot two dot vu forward slash rc. Type this in your Google Chrome. Download the PDF. Open page number one. You will see something called as verbal workshop, designed for any exam, not just GRE, GMAT, any exam that you will give in the future, even your placement papers. Interesting, right? Quickly download. Open the page uh, number one and type in done in the chat box very quickly. थोड़ा जल्दी करें गाइस ओके सार्थक इज डन अमित डन सोहे सोहम इज डन अनिरुद्ध इज डन निधि डन आई एम आई एम गेसिंग ऑल ऑफ यू हैव डाउनलोडेड राइट ओके अच्छा एक बात बताओ हाउ मच टाइम डू यू थिंक यू विल गेट फॉर वन क्वेश्चन इन एनी एग्जाम फ्यूचर में आप कोई भी एग्जाम दोगे आगे जाके हाउ मच टाइम डू यू थिंक यू विल गेट एनी एग्जाम जीआरई जीमैट कैट व्हाटएवर व्हाटएवर एग्जाम यू राइट हाउ मच टाइम डू यू थिंक अ मिनट और टू करेक्ट फेयर इनफ अ मिनट और टू Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have super fun. Okay, I'm going to watch you guys. I'll give you one and a half minute. Okay, I'm going to give you one and a half minute. What I want you to do is I want you guys to uh, go through this passage on page number one. Okay, do not do Jai Mata Di or you know any shortcuts. Read the passage on page number one, and then answer question number one. The author's primary purpose in the passage is to what you need to do is mark your answers in the chat box, A, B, C, D, or E. Okay. Do not apply Jai Mata Di or any shortcuts. I want you guys to read the passage and then answer. Take your time. It's one and a half minute that I'm giving you. Right? Let's have some fun. Your time starts now.
Guys, last 30 seconds. Okay, everyone stop. Stop, 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 stop. Look at that. Only three students answer out of the entire crowd. Wow, not even, not even 10%. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, <clears throat> tell me something. Ek baat bata. How many of you love the passage? Sir, maza aage. Roads se ke Instagram chodo, Snapchat chodo, Times of India chodo, Hindu chodo. I will read, I will in fact read such passages at 7 in the morning. Type in a yes. Type in a yes. Hmm. No one, huh? Okay, one brave soul, two brave souls. Okay, couple of brave souls, very nice. Okay, let me change the question. How many of you were totally lost and confused in the passage? Type in a yes. Sir, this English was This was German, Latin, Greek, or any language. Thi. Or subay, 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 10 you have done such things that you don't Okay, okay, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Achha, how many of you would love to know? Uh, okay. How many of you would love to know? Ki passage A one third time kaise padna hai? Type in a yes. How many of you would love to know how to read a passage like this in any exam in one third time and solve the question within 30 seconds? How many of you would love to know that? Subco uh, answers to you, right? Subco chahiye? Okay, don't worry. I've got something very special lined up for you in the evening. Do you think you can spare 15 minutes for it? Yes or no? So if you exam in the future, you can do it. Are you guys up for it? Yes or no? Wonderful. I've got something very exciting lined up for you in the evening. Make sure you spare 15 minutes. Two hours of movie, I am sure 15 minutes to spare kar sakte, right? We'll not just solve this passage, but also we'll do an actual question. So And you would do it to get the answer. Okay, wonderful. Okay, uh, I want to tell you something, okay, very important. Okay, okay, very important. If you want to go to the Masters, for example, okay, right, you are passing on in 22, you want to go in 2022. I'm talking to the second year folks. So, you will apply this year. If you do not apply this year, you will apply in 22 so that you go in 23, right? You are absolutely wrong. If you miss the bus of 21, you catch it in 25 or 26. You know why? All the programs that I talked about, DEFAT, MBA, MIM, they're exclusively for freshers. By 23, you have experience, hoga, all of them will reject your application saying overqualified. In fact, they will ask you to come back after four or five years and do a regular MBA like most of the Indian students, right? So if you miss the bus of 21, you catch it in 25 or 26. Scary, right? That means all of you need to start off right now. I need to ensure that you do plan for a master's degree right now. It's very, very essential, whether you're from marketing, whether you're from international business, or you're from any other field, you need to really really plan very very well and you know why look at this you guys tell me puja one of our students okay brilliant 3.75 cgpa very nice one of the best colleges in india 740 out of 800 in gmat whoa nice now she applied for top universities in terms of masters tell me what are the chances she will get selected good average or bad quickly type in your answers Good. Hum sabko lag right? Good. Hai. Of course, good. Over, right? Look at this academic credentials. They go college. They go score. They go amazing. Mind blowing. Right? Ek aur hero tha Rahul. Three ka CGPA, tier two college, not even tier one. Okay. 
six eighty out of eight hundred poor guy got in gym gym at okay. He also applied for masters in five universities. Tell me what are his chances? Good, average, or bad? Good, average, or bad? Quickly type in and tell me. Good. Okay. What makes you think it's good? Relatively average. Okay. Fair answer, Mantan. Nishigand. What makes you think it's good? Can anyone type in and tell me what makes you think it's good? I don't think so. Look at the difference. One of the best colleges, average college, CGPA better, not a great CGPA. GMAT scores. Oh my God. Okay, let me tell you. Pooja got rejected by four out of five universities, and the fifth one did not offer the field she wanted. Sad, right? Such brilliant academic credentials. Or look at that. What happened, Pooja? Bichar Rahul ka kya hoga? Batao. Batao, batao, batao. Rahul ka kya hoga bichare ke saath? Pooja ka yeh hal ho raha hai. To Pooja, Rahul to gaya ekdam. Hmm. He got selected in Babson School of Management, and not just that, he got in with hundred percent scholarship. Can you believe it? He got into one of the best schools, be one of the top B schools in the world. Surprised? Yes or no? Quickly type in your answers. Please. Yeah, uh, correct. The question is, why did this happen? मैं बताता हूँ क्यों. Majority of Indian graduates को पता है क्या लगता है, including you. कि अगर मेरा CGPA अच्छा है या मेरा GMAT GRE score अच्छा है, तो I can get an admission in any school I want. Right, or I can get placed in any company I want, for that matter. You are absolutely wrong. Your CGP and your GRE score or GMAT score add up only 20 to 30 percent weightage in your admission in top schools or your selection in top placements. Rest 70 to 80 percent is that one word which matters the word, which matters the word. What is that one word? The word is college profile. The most important word is college profile. P R O F L. Very very important. Mark my words. Even if you guys have an average CGP or an average GRE score, you can still land up in one of the top schools or top placements, provided you guys have a very good profile. Why? The weightage is seventy to eighty percent for selection. Seventy to eighty percent. If you don't believe me, I'm going to tell you an engineer's story. Average Mumbai guy, girl, from Mumbai college, from average college, got placed in Google with one point two crores package. No kidding, right? So tomorrow, you can select in KPMG, in Deloitte, in ENY, in Deloitte, 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 Or you want to get selected in Howard University, Stanford, Carnegie Mellon. You want to go to Ross, go to go to any other any other school for that matter, right? HUC Paris, IEC Spain, London Business School, right? What is that one word that you will need? Quickly type in the answers. That all of you quickly type in and tell me what is that one word which will be very very important for all of you. कौन सा वर्ड है? आपके स्क्रीन पे लिखा है. Correct. The word is called as profile very important now you guys have been listening to me for quite some time now theek hai thoda time se aap log sun rahe ho quickly type in and tell me how many of you think profile is extremely crucial for your upcoming one year quickly type in a yes or no agar lagta hai yes to agar important lagta hai to hi yes type karna agar nahi lagta hai to type in a no quickly type in a yes or a no Um, it's good to see that. Oh my God! Wow, it's surprising to see that everyone feels that profile is really important. Okay, correct. Good. On honest answers, I love it. Okay, and I'll tell you the challenge. Because people judge, I couldn't get that. Smriti, can you elaborate that a little bit? I couldn't get that. Okay, it is important. Fair enough. Now the biggest question is profile. Hota kya? Am I right? What is a profile, or how do we build a good profile for any of the masters that we? No, no, no. They would never judge you. Don't worry about it. No one is going to judge you, Smriti. Don't worry about it. Now the question is exactly profile. होता क्या है? अच्छी profile बनाते कैसे? Right? These are very basic questions. In fact, most of the students in India think profile का मतलब CV होता है. You guys are absolutely wrong. CV is just the tip of the iceberg. It's much more bigger than that. Okay. How many of you are excited to know a little bit about profile? I know uh, it's too much of your time that I've taken. But another five to seven minutes. How many of you would love to know quickly a little bit about profile and we close it off? Otherwise, if you guys are bored, I'll close it right now itself. Quickly, let me know if you guys are bored. I'll close off right now. I don't want to take too much of your time. It's ironical, Amit. You don't think profile is important, but you want to. You want me to continue? <laughs> okay, okay. Just kidding. 
Uh, okay. Okay. Fine. You guys are excited to know a little bit about profile. I'll be more than happy to tell you something very exciting and important. Very something in very short. Okay. But before that, I've got something even more exciting for you. Okay. Uh, I, what I want to do is I have created a very nice WhatsApp group for masters abroad profile building specifically. Okay. What I want you guys to do is take out your phones very quickly. Can you do that? Take out your phones and open a new tab in Google Chrome quickly. All of you, all of you who think profile building is important, not everyone. Okay. All of you who think profile building is important, you know, take out your phones from your pockets, pull out your phones from your pockets and open a new tab in Google Chrome and type it yes in the chat box. Pull out your phones, okay? To open a new tab of Google Chrome and type in yes in the chat box. Okay, I've got something very interesting. What I want you to do is type this link, 1.2.view forward slash WB. Follow that? 1.2.v for victory, u for unity, forward slash, w for rest, v for Bengal, West Bengal. Quickly type and follow the instructions, join the group, and please confirm by typing done in the chat box. Quickly, very quickly, can you do the needful? Quickly type in done, D-O-N-E, done. Okay, okay. Shwankar, Guraj, Pratiksha, okay. Bhakti, Ajay, done, done, done. Siddhi, done, Puja, done. Yash, Sakshi, Krishna, done. Shalaj, done. Uh, guys, I want to be a little faster because uh, I don't want to take too much of the time. And I will just quickly uh, tell you a couple of pointers which are very, very critical. A lot of myths Indian students have, they don't understand certain things in terms of masters. So I'm just going to touch base on that and then we close it. Quickly, uh, please confirm, guys, only if you're serious, but if you think about profile building is important, then do it. Do not think it's a group of fun or memes, meme sharing. Please don't do that. There's something much more important and much more, you know, critical. Do not join group just for fun. Yes, yes, Daksh, I think it should be. I think it should be, if I'm not wrong, Daksh. Just check it once. I'm not really sure. Please. I think it should be. Okay, are you guys done? Uh, Ritesh, maybe, maybe not. We can give it a shot. Let, let, we'll talk about it. Satak, uh, can we take these questions separately? Don't mind. Uh, we'll just wrap it up because a couple of students are waiting. We'll just finish that, right? You can always reach out to me on LinkedIn separately. We can discuss that. Don't worry about it, Satak. Okay, let's get started. Okay, uh, before, I, before I go ahead, okay? Before I go ahead, I, I, I'm assuming that most of you have already joined the group. Uh, because it's profile building for masters and you know the importance of masters as well. And I've given you the idea of some placements as to, as to what you can do, right? Now, uh, okay. Uh, I would love to know something, right? Uh, how many of you use Instagram? Type in a guess. Uh, uh, what a stupid question, sir. You know, Instagram to everyone use karta hai. How many of you use LinkedIn? How many of you use LinkedIn? Ah, oh, correct. Now, if I talk about Instagram, okay, let's, okay, be honest with me and tell me how many pages do you follow for memes? I know it's for stories and friends and everything. How many of you, and what are the minimum number of follow uh, pages you follow for, you know, memes? Thousands, look at that. Threes, tens, four to five, so many, 10 plus, right? So if you see on the screen, you understand that I've got all my information flowing in from Instagram. Type in a yes if you agree with me. Not just Instagram for that matter, you know, any other social media platform, Facebook and Instagram popularly, correct? Now, be honest and tell me, do you think any one of these pages help you in deciding your career track? Type in a yes or no. Be honest with me, huh? Do you think any one of them leads you to the destination that you're destined to? No, it doesn't. It's actually not. I know I know the truth. I, even I have been on Instagram, so I know. Right? Now, it's very important to understand certain things, you know, which a lot of you know, people do not understand is a lot of students will try to go websites once in a while and understand. But how about the feed where you understand 
what are the re you know recent scholarships which are available for students how the industry is responding right what are the different you know shortcuts to solve gig mat questions right don't you think there's one page that can be relevant enough to understand and I'm, i'm not asking to follow the page i'm just telling you to understand that when you spend 2 hours on instagram scrolling day and night there's one minute or two minutes can be to actually change how you do things yes or no it's not that i haven't used instagram i haven't used uh, you know linkedin yes i have done the same right but don't you think there's one minute or one page that can do benefit yes or no quickly type in correct exactly there's always one thing that can actually even scrolling for n number of memes or you know funny stuff one chip, one page can give you one piece of information in a day or in a week that can change a lot of things for your career that matters a lot right so that's the reason and what we have done is we have created instagram i was not in the favor of doing all of it but later we realized that most of the students across india love to use instagram and they spend more time on instagram rather than on websites or journals or to read that's why we decided to do this so that you could at least have an update from universities across the world what is going on that's why we have created this on linkedin and instagram as well so what is going to happen is the group that you have joined you will get one link for instagram you will get one link to follow instagram you'll get one link for linkedin for uh, you know following linkedin and also one for the right one for that particular session that will happen in the evening for you guys now i'm sure you guys can attend that session for 30 45 minutes in the evening around 4:30 yes or no देखो मुझे पता है आप लोगों का बिजी स्केड्यूल होगा आप लोगों को वैलेंटाइन वीक चल रहा है मुझे यहाँ घूमने जाना है मुझे बात करनी है किसी के साथ आई आई डोंट नो यू यू वांट टू वॉच वेब सीरीज यू वांट टू वॉच मूवीज यू हैव सो मेनी थिंग्स यू वांट टू स्टडी वेल आई नो बट आई एम श्योर आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स इन अ वीक यू कैन स्पेंड फोर्टी फोर्टी फाइव मिनट आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ये सो नो अगर सीरियस हो आई डोंट नो इफ यू आर नॉट सीरियस दैट्स एब्सोलूटली फाइन दैट्स ऑन यू आई आई मीन आई एम आई एम श्योर आई कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग अबाउट इट but if you are someone who can spare 40 45 minutes only to understand what's important in terms of profile building and you can plan accordingly to benefit your own career i'll be more than happy for it 430 caspers right now what i'm going to do is i'm we're going to quickly jump and understand very quickly uh let's skip the tall part because this is more for technical now very important to understand is you know why a strong profile is needed all of you who are coming from your college right right if i'm not wrong uh bba most of the departments right bba i b b b uh, your marketing all of it why is strong profile necessary why because some of us might not have great academics type in a yes if you agree with me some of us might not have great academics average academics maybe correct uh maybe some of us are scored uh, you know average in our gre or gmat exams probably i am someone who is shifting into different domain i want to shift into analytics very different or i am a marketing guy i want to shift to finance maybe yes or i want to switch completely in the industry right i want to go and learn ai ml if you don't believe me aap ke shehar ka a a college in pune kone symbiosis do you know about it type in a yes how many of you know about symbiosis i was talking to symbiosis bba college students okay and you know what i got to know two of the students of my session came up to me it was a live session face to face they said sir we want to go and learn ai ml can you believe me can you believe that they come they came up to me they are in second year they said sir we want to learn ai ml and we actually want to get into data science isn't that interesting so you can do any of it provided you have a strong profile to prove it that's the importance of profile look at this university of st gallens now are you might think that gre or gmat score is going to play a very important role look at that, that. only 20% this and 20% your undergrad rest all is your extra curricular and your essay sops all of it look at the difference only 40% rest 60% is your profile another one how okay how many of you have heard about hcc paris type in a yes jaldi se jaldi 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 how many of you have heard about hcc paris so right nay so right it's one of the top schools okay it's one of the top schools now what do you think would be the average gmat score to get into hcc paris out of 800 can you guys guess can you guys guess any guesses no idea more than 750 of course right more than 750 740 right now you'll be surprised to know the average gmat score to get into hcc paris is 690 surprising right what they look for is most important not just your academic accomplishment the most important thing is something called as leadership potential leadership potential is very important you know why it it shows what you have done for example you are leading certain clubs you are leading certain communities 
TEDx, Toastmasters, and you are actually doing a, a leadership role there. International exposure, that means you have gone for a summer school program, you go for an exchange program, you have an exposure to an international set of community and students, you have worked with them, right? These are certain factors which will matter a lot. Now, not just these profile building activities are equally important, the most important thing, thing is school selection, yeah? So for example, a uh, lot of you are doing in logistics and supply chain, yes or no? Quickly type in, if I'm not wrong, you're doing your undergrad in logistics supply chain, if I'm not wrong, right? IB. Yes or no? Can please confirm? Okay, right. Now, uh, if I tell you that you are getting an admission in Harvard Business School for logistics and supply chain, you would love to go there, yes or no? If, just type in a yes, if you're getting admission in Harvard or Stanford, don't you think you would love to go there? Or you don't you think you would try for such schools? for your master's in logistics and supply chain, correct? Of course, right? But obvious, now I'll tell you that's the problem. That's a problem with Indian students. You want to run with the top schools, but it's not about running for the top school. It's about running for the right school, Why? Right? Uh, this is a story of one of the guys who came from a technical guy from Bits Dubai. Want to get into, you know, computer science, but he had a non-technical profile. I, I don't know how many of you know, so there's something called as DSE, Dynable, uh, Dynable Searchable Encryption. He worked on this because we suggest him into, you know, and look at this. One of the professors working at New Jersey Institute of Technology got it. His main research was DSC itself. Got a $1,500 stipend per month and 50% scholarship. Interesting, right? Now, this is even more interesting why a right school is important. Now, this candidate, he had applied to a number of schools because he wanted to get into marketing in consumer behavior. Listen carefully, huh? That guy got rejected. Now, it was very important for us to understand what he did he do. We went through his profile and what we told him, do not apply to top 20 schools in the world, these schools. We asked him to apply somewhere between 30 to 70 ranked schools. And you know what, what was the result? He got scholarship from three of them. Carlson is one of the best schools in terms of consumer behavior and he got selected there as well. Don't you think this is somewhere close to understand that right school is important? Type in a yes or a no. It was not about going to Harvard or Stanford here. It was about going to the right school where he could not only get scholarship, but get recognized for it. I'll give you an example. Let's talk about information systems. University of Texas Austin is number four in the world and Stanford is number five, right? Minnesota, 85 overall, but number seven in the world for this, right? Number seven in the world for information systems. Now comes very interesting. Supply chain logistics, all of you are studying. Now you see the world ranking for Michigan State University Broad School, 65 and carries 57. But what is exciting is it is number one in the world for supply chain logistics masters. Can you see that? The Cary School of Business is one of the top schools in the world for supply chain and logistics masters. How many people, the moment you see this, you will leave it. No, this is not meant for me, but it is number one in the world for your supply chain logistics. In fact, the majority of hiring that happened from Amazon's logistics departments, they come from Cary School of Business, not from Harvard, not from Stanford. Management for graduates, postgraduate come, come from this school. Interesting? Yes or no? It's a very interesting fact. A lot of students don't understand this point. It is so different. Let me give you an example of finance here. How many of you have heard about the school and why you turn? Type in a yes. I don't know how many of you know about it. It's probably one of the best schools in the world for finance. One of the best schools in the world. Okay. Now the, the interesting part is look at this. High fees, low acceptance, high GMAT score. Placement, of course, it's good and salary is pretty good. But not many people understand that Zicklin, Rochester, and you, you know, Illinois UC also provide the same kind of finance specialization. Less fees, higher acceptance rate, more than 35 to 40%. Low GMAT score, look at the placement rates, staggering around 90%, and the average median salary is around, say, close to one lakh USD. Interesting. Look at this operations and logistics specializations. MIT Sloan is where Sundar Pichai studied. All of you were asking, this is the place where he did his MBA from. Look at this high salary again. Uh, no, I'm so sorry, high fees, very high GMAT score, and low acceptance rate. Placement and salary, of course, amazing as usual but not many people understand this part. UT Dallas, Arizona, Fox School, all of the same same thing, higher acceptance rate, low GMAT score, high placement rate, low fees, and brilliant salaries. I can do a basic math here, look at this. 
इंडिया में अगर आपको एमबी करना है आयम्स में तो ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस फाइव मेक सेंस बिकॉज कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग होती है आर वाई कितना है वन सेवेंटी परसेंट क्योंकि एवरेज प्लेसमेंट आई एम जे बी सी से ट्वेंटी थ्री या ट्वेंटी फोर के आसपास होता है ठीक है लेकिन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट एम आई एम प्रोग्राम लुक एट दिस थर्ड आर वाई इज ओवर टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी परसेंट इंटरेस्टिंग राइट ये सर नो I'm mean, I'm sure you are able to understand why am I talking about the school selection part that a lot of you run for random schools that want to go for top school top five top ten ये वो but you need to understand which field you are specialization in and which field you know uh, masters will suit you better documentation तो बहुत ज़्यादा important है अच्छा what do you understand by NGO work quickly type in and tell me very quickly type in and tell me what do you understand by NGO work can any one of you tell me Quickly type in and tell me, guys. It would I would really appreciate it if you can type and tell me. What do you mean by NGO work? Social work, correct? Volunteer work, donating clothes, right? Now this is the challenge. The word in social impact impact is underrated. This guy could not get into Dream College. Why? Because he thought social impact means NGO work. But look at this. We did a profile cap analysis and we realized he's good at a technical. What what he told him to do? He worked with. Uh, he went to a couple of villages nearby his city. figure out that which which are the you know medicines is not available on time because of which you know pe the two uh, the kids were dying the pharmacists were pretty far away 30 40 odd kilometers so he created an app help the pharmacies uh, to maintain uh, that inventory and ensuring that those medicines are available to the villagers right in time he also talked to the vanchayat people uh, as to how to take precautions because of which he was able to bring down the mortality in that village by 5% Isn't that brilliant? Isn't the don't you think that's a social impact? Type in a yes or a no. Instead of just donating clothes or feeding the poor, isn't don't you think this is something which is called as a social impact? Changing the life. And this guy wrote his SOP in mentioning this, and he got into Duke M I M program with twenty percent scholarship, even I S P. That's the power of documentation. Not many people understand that how important it is it is to write a right S O P or probably even a C V. A C V is so important. You know the first thing any university will look when you send your application is a CV. It has to be in reverse chron chronological order. It has to have the action words. It is so important. I'll give you an example here. Uh, you know, if you guys win a first prize, right? How would you write it in a resume? Quickly type it in and tell me. If you guys win a first prize, how will you write it in your resume? Quickly type it in and tell me. Won the first prize, am I right? I won the first prize at such competition, correct? Good in H O I C. Okay. Now you know how do you know what uh, you know the admissions committee from U S tells us Indian students are brilliant but they don't know how to write. That's what they say. Indian students are very good but they don't know how to write. Why? A student from India writes in I won the first uh, prize in this competition. You know how the U S students write? I won the first prize. Uh, in a competition which was held over these many days where these many countries these many colleges participated and these many domains were you know were taken uh, the categories were included and i won a was first prize in that there's a difference of writing that's why it's so important to understand the documentation so academics you are already done gra and gmat you will write in a couple of months so i'm not worried about these two the most important part is you what kind of you know uh, projects or uh, internships you go for probably you can go for a fintech internship if you are interested in finance do not if you want to go for marketing go for the specific marketing internship you need to understand which uh, you know area you want to build a profile in because that's the area they will look into right now again business development comes into sales marketing separately so you can go for sales as well you can go for marketing as well right you can go for finance as well operations is also one of the fields you can look at in terms of internship summer school program very interesting you can go for summer uh, you know exchange program or summer school program when i say summer school program there are you know isaac and dad organizations which help you you can go and read about it right schools very very critical in terms of you know which school you apply i have already told you of course documentation then applying at the right time whether you go for fall or spring fall intake or spring intake that matters and then of course the you know the visa and other finance uh, financial uh, Uh, responsibilities that you want to complete you do all of that and then you get to dream school correct now the point is very simple right if you guys want to go in 2022 you will have to do it this year you don't have much time probably 9 8 to 9 months to complete all of this which is a shorter time but again it's somehow possible if you start working for it now 
right? Why is it important that what you've done till now is this, but the latter part in the evening today when we'll connect for half an hour, the most important question that is answered for all of you is, sir, scholarship milegi, kaise milegi, funding kya hoti hai, mein agar itna invest kar raha hon, ROI kya hai, and the shortcuts that we talked about for GRE and GMAT. So do, do, don't you think it's exciting? Type in a yes or a no. Are you guys excited for the evening session for half an hour? Yes or no, very quickly. I know this might be a botheration. Some of you won't even bother. You would sleep off. You would sleep off. That's up to you. I'm sorry, I cannot help you with that. You want to be one of those? You can be. You can be like 70 to 80% graduates in India, chilling, relaxing, and then struggling later in life. Or you can be someone who can spare, work hard, probably this year, and make things you know go your way. We have made a lot of mistakes in your graduation. We don't want you to make. And that's the reason we are speaking to you today, right? So I hope you guys have joined the group. Can you please confirm with a yes? Can you please confirm with a yes very quickly? Okay. 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 One last question that I want to ask you. Uh, and I want you guys to write it down. Okay. I want you guys to write in the chat box. Okay. How was the session? Quickly type, write it down. Very quickly. How was the session? Mazaya ki what business aspect are you talking about, uh, Satan? If you can write it down. I'm happy to see that you guys learned so much. Uh, Ritesh, uh, directly I can't say directly. I'm sorry, I cannot share direct details here. But if you guys have any doubts, I mean, uh, if you have any questions, what you can do is you can uh, probably ping me on LinkedIn. Okay? Uh, that's one of the places I can help you with. Uh, please do not directly drop a connection request if you really want to connect and ask some question. Although or most of it, questions will be clear today in the evening. Most of it. But still, you want to ask something, you know, want to understand something better and, and on a personal front, just uh, ping me on LinkedIn uh, with a message, okay? Do not send in without a message. Send in with a message as to whatever you want to say, but do not just drop in a random connection request, okay? I will be more than happy to help in whatever way possible, okay? You can send it across, right? Okay, sounds fair. And happy to see that you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, you guys have been a terrific audience. I wish I was in Pune. Uh, you guys... Uh, uh, you know, make me miss Pune big time. I wish I was in KP. Oh my God, I miss KP big time. But again, uh, Ritesh, just search for Abhishek Gupta Kare Labs. You'll be able to have it. Uh, Sarthak, you can just connect on LinkedIn probably. Uh, that First attend the evening session and then you can connect on LinkedIn. Probably that would be better. I can help you offline, whatever possible, off the, you know, off the records. I can help you. Okay. So I, you guys make me miss uh, Pune big time. So anyways, uh, Thank you for being a part of this session. You guys have you guys have been brilliant. Uh, you know, stay strong, stay safe, and uh, stay blessed. Thank you, Dutch, for that. And uh, you know, it's a new year, so I want to wish you a very, very happy and a safe new year. Do come out with flying colors. Never give up in life. The life is gonna be you know, people are gonna flip you around every you know every every day, left and right. But you don't have to worry about it. You are what you are. Do not listen to what others are doing. If they are chilling, let them chill. If they're not working, let them not work. It's about you. It's about your journey. It's about your future. It's about your career. And it's about, you know, standing your ground. It doesn't matter what people say. Some people say it's unbelievable, unachievable. It doesn't matter. It's you who decides, right? No, you will get the link for the session in the group. Do not worry, Prasad. Instagram, LinkedIn, and the evening session links, all of them will come in the group. Please stay active in the group. So believe in yourself. I wish you all the very best. Come out with flying colors. And I would like to thank your college, uh, your professors, your placement committee, Isha for, uh, you know, Joya, you know, ensuring that this session is smooth. Uh, thank, thank you. you thank you so much for being a part of this. I, uh, I wish you all the very best, right? So stay yeah. strong and stay blessed. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Namaskar. Uh, and ciao. Yes, Hasta la vista. Sir. Uh, just thank a request, uh, if you could turn on your camera and the stages of Harsh for two minutes, we just want to show our gratitude towards you. Uh, yes, am I audible? Yes, Harsh. 
Okay, so I would like to propose the vote of thanks, sir. So thank you for the wonderful and enlightening, sir, uh, lecture, sir. Also, thank you for highlighting some important points regarding the whole career career centric thing. And uh, we really learned a lot of things today. On behalf of GCC, please accept our token of appreciation for connecting with us on the virtual platform. We are looking forward to having such more knowledgeable workshops with you. We would also like to thank our officiating principal, Dr. Geeta Acharya, ma'am, respected vice principal of MES secretary and assistant director of self finance department, Dr. Bharat Vakhate. I would also like to thank the faculty coordinators, uh, Dr. Sandeep Rathod, Dr. Sushmita Nande, Dr. Padma Nene, and the placement head, Sir Sumit uh, Gaikwad, and respected professors present today. Last but not the least, I would also like to thank my fellow coordinators, and I would also appreciate the participation of my fellow friends and colleagues. Thank you, sir, for investing your time. And uh, this was a really wonderful session. We learned a lot things uh, today, and the practicality also was on point. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, Ashan. Thank, thank you to the entire team. I wish you all the best. Thank you. I well, hope I didn't bore you. Yeah. No, sir. It was a great session. I must say. So can I request you to put your camera on and other participants also, so that we can take a screenshot like a memory? Oh, uh, I would suggest because I'm right, 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 really not in a condition because I'm not in office right now. Okay. Uh, uh, if that's okay, you can probably if you want his memory. Oh, uh, it's gonna be a tough call. Okay, one second, please. Let me see. It's quite dark out here. One. Second. Yes, sir. Participants, if you can, you all also can turn your cameras on. And Harsh, I request you to turn your camera on too. I'm not very sure if you guys would be able to see me. It's quite dark in here, but I'll try to do it. Yes, sir. No issues. I hope that works. Yeah, it is. I'm okay, really sorry. So it's 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 pretty dark out in here because I try to work in that kind of environment. Okay, yes. so where is everyone? Akansha is here. Okay, I can see Tejas. What about the rest? Everyone is shy out here, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. Manthan, I can see now. Hey, Manth is there. Ujjwal is there. Sakshi is there. Uh, okay, Amit is showing me the charger. I don't know why. <laughs> Amit, hi. Uh, he's preparing, I guess. He's also preparing for GMAT, right? Right, Amit? Mm, okay, good, good. Hi, Saloni. Hi, Satya. Meher. Rutuja. Uh, I don't know. The rest are all very shy. I think they are looking to get married. Uh, hitting, hitting people, huh? Okay. Don't worry. Um, oh, hi, Rahul. We can Hanji. have a picture in uh, maybe three, two, one, smile. Yes, thank you so much. No problem at all. Uh, Isha, thank you for, you know, arranging this. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry for the trouble. <laughs> no, sir, it's completely fine. Okay, great. Have a great a great time and make sure you do attend the session in the evening, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Ciao. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, sir.